Hey guys, Nathan Brendan Masters. It's been a while since I've done a review. So today I got these wireless earbuds for you. This is from a company called Duo Duo. So I grabbed these off of Amazon. Uh, this is the page right here. If you want to grab some of them, I will put my affiliate link in the description. Don't know if you'll want to use it after this review. But let's jump into it uh, real quick before I do that. I'm just going to quickly, of course, remind you of my comic book, Hexcraft Mechanics. This is issue two. It's a 56-page action-based urban fantasy book. And if you like this kind of stuff, things like Blade, Underworld, Constantine, stuff of that nature, you're going to love this book. Link is in the description. Go on over there and back it if you like it. Let's get into this review. All right, guys, so these are wireless earbuds from a company called Duo Duo. It's one of those cheap Chinese companies that make stuff, and uh, they make it for cheap. So uh, people like myself grab it. This is the box it comes in. Very cheap, very bare bones, but uh, you get what you pay for, particularly in this instance. So wireless headset. So there you go. And uh, I am doing this on my iPhone, so you might see my thumb in there. <laughs> but he got a basic breakdown here. Super mini, super light, iOS power display, sure. Intelligent noise reduction and voice reminding. Okay. okay. All right, guys. So I can't really talk smack on the build quality. Okay, this is solid quality. This is nice. Uh, I like how heavy this case is and... Uh, I really actually wanted this to be uh, a thing, okay? I want this to be something uh, that, you know, I wasn't going to really take this out uh, a lot. You know, I, my knockoff uh, my knockoff AirPods uh, I used to travel with. So uh, I don't really need to, uh, you know, have a secondary thing to take with me. I might take it if I have a bag or something. But uh, these have pretty much been good for Anytime I need to go out or travel or anything like that, I just pick these up, grab them, and uh, it's not a problem. But uh, I did want to have something as backups, particularly if I'm here at home. You see these things, look at that, uh, just like the real thing. And as a matter of fact, not only that, but they connect like the real AirPods as well. This is also something I got cheap. This was about 26 bucks. So I got that off eBay, connects via USB-C. Uh, it's trusty, okay? I've had it for about, uh, I want to say about a year now, maybe less, uh, and uh, no, no problem whatsoever. Uh, so I got these to uh, replace another pair that I had, and it was a pair that had like the wire that connects the two speakers, and the wire got kind of frayed. So the right speaker uh, stopped working properly, which is funny because it's usually the left speaker that gets messed up. As you can see, you can charge this with old school USB 2 and uh, micro USB. So uh, that's good. Everybody has a bunch of micro USB wires running around. So I'll give that. And uh, let's pop this open. So uh, as you can see, again, nice design on this. All right. So I'm not going to really talk smack, uh, talk smack on about that. Uh, you got your iOS power display right here, which I've read isn't super accurate, but uh, I haven't had a problem with it. Then again, I haven't used them very much, and I'll tell you why. You see, these pair separately. got to take this out right here, and then it pairs, and then you have to take the other one out, and then it pairs. Now, you're supposed to be able to take them out, and they pair to each other, and then they pair to your phone. Don't you believe it? All right, now, on Amazon, these things have a four-star review, okay? And a four-star review, that's pretty good. Uh, whenever I see something like this, I always go to read what the first thing that I do. I read what the one, two, uh, you know, the one, two-star reviews, and then some of the three-star reviews. The three-star reviews are probably the best reviews to really gauge what this stuff is, as you guys know, I review stuff on Amazon too. So uh, I kind of know how this review system works. As a matter of fact, uh, when I was reviewing 
for companies, the, the way this goes is you send them the money, you know, you actually buy it, they send you the product, and then they refund your money uh, after re the review. Now, this system is obviously ripe for abuse. Uh, I got into a situation one time where a company didn't want to send uh, some of my money back because, you know, I gave them a bad review and they tried to convince me to give them a better review. And it's like, no, the thing, in my opinion, was not good. So uh, that brings me to this. Now, this is something that uh, I bought for myself and I actually had a lot of high hopes for it. Uh, because it looked really nice, looked really simple, and it looked like it was good for my needs. I, many times when I'm doing something, I don't need a lot of crazy stuff. I just need to, to do that one thing I needed to do, okay? And, you know, typically do that one thing well. I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler for, you know, I'm in that market for things that do one thing really well. I'm, I'm that guy who will buy that. I have a GoPro and an iPhone SE. Obviously, the GoPro is a little bit better quality, but I think you, you get my point. I will buy that thing that does something really, really well. So when it came to this, I was hoping that it would do one thing particularly well, and that is connect to your iPhone and play music. And that's where we have a problem with this. See, this could have been the crappiest headset ever if it had done its main function. And I, I would have never known because like I, I don't control the music with the headset and all that stuff. I, I use my phone. I control all that stuff with my phone. I don't need all that. So uh, let's jump into this. All right, guys. So this is my iPad Pro and this is how you make the basic connection. So you have the two there and this right here where it says uh, HBQ, you have it twice there. That is both pod one and pod two, left pod, right pod. So you have to connect one at a time. Okay, so a uh, bad connection. I think I may have, let, let's see, let me try the other one just to make sure. Okay, so there you go. That one connected, all right? Since that one connected, that's probably the right one. So let's look at uh, the other one. Let's look at the left one here and uh, let's see what happens. So we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. It's taking forever if it connects at all because sometimes it connects Sometimes it doesn't, and as you can see, it doesn't. And this is something that happens multiple times, and once you get it to connect, guess what? The music, nine times out of 10, plays out of the right side, and nothing comes out of the left side. So every once in a while, uh, you'll get music coming out of both the right and left speaker. Now, here's the joke. Here's the joke. Here's what... Well, if I were the Joker, this is what I would start laughing at. The sound quality is fabulous. Fabulous. Great sound quality out of that right ear. Okay? And man, when it actually does connect in the left ear for that few seconds, you get some good sound <laughs> from it. And, and yes, it's what you expect. It's bass heavy, but it's good. It's clear. It sounds good. It would be perfect for me if only I could hear that sound out of both speakers. And also, it would be nice if it didn't drop the connection so much. That's helpful, too. But specifically, if you could hear the sound out of both speakers. So, if you can get a working pair of these, it would be nice. They're 18 bucks with tax, and uh, they'd be nice to have. Otherwise, get this cheap uh, knockoff of the, of, of the AirPods. It, it works well. I've had it for a while. It does great. It's reliable. It's trustworthy. So grab that. But if you do want these and you manage to get a working version, which I guess a lot of people have, uh, they claim four hours of play talk time, uh, hour charge time, and 120 hours of standby time. So uh, YOLO, I guess. But when you look at these one-star reviews, what you find is that most of them, the one and two-star reviews, are basically just what I experienced, connection problems. So this is a quality control issue because I'm sure that they don't send out all their units like this. And uh, you know, one guy even had a problem where it got very hot in his ear, which probably not something you want with your wireless earbuds. I'm, I'm just taking a guess on that one. 
But the, the sad part here is if uh, these had worked, it would have been a really nice, really nice to have these uh, as a secondary pair of ear pods. But uh, one last thing here, uh, as you know, I like to take a trip over to Alibaba sometime and just see what's, what's going on. And just as I figured, this is, uh, you know, one of the variations of earbuds that are shipping around now. So uh, if anybody wants to uh, create your own earbud company uh, or earpod company, uh, you can do it. You get one of these companies and uh, have them slap your name on some earpods and uh, have some uh, YouTubers like myself promote it. And uh, yeah, you're, you're golden. <laughs> you're golden. So uh, uh, if you're thinking about doing that, rem remember me when you're shelling that promotional money out. And just for lawyers, uh, I'm not saying that Duo Duo's design isn't an original design, that that's not their own thing. I'm just saying there's some similar style stuff out there that's, you know, making making the rounds. Okay, guys, Nathan Brandon Masters, don't forget my comic Hexcraft Mechanics issue two. It is on Indiegogo right now. If you like urban fantasy, particularly action-based urban fantasy, go grab my book, back it. It supports me, it supports the channel, and helps me continue in my creative endeavors. You guys take it easy. Asta. Don't look back, we're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it, the borderline, to where the future leaves us behind. Fire